Niger, Burkina Faso and Mali all have one thing in common and it isn't just about the coups that recently took place in these nations. They are all critical about France and they want to put an end to the French agenda in Africa. This is the reason why the aftermath of these coups has been marked by the various military leaders unequivocally demanding that all the French troops leave from their respective countries. France's response to this has been simply dismissive regarding Mali and Burkina Faso, however, in Niger's case, it's a different story. France has treated this issue with utmost seriousness, firmly rejecting any possibility of withdrawal. So the question you might be asking is why France seemingly doesn't mind pulling out of Mali and Burkina Faso and other the other hand its feet are still firmly planted in Niger. Why? Well, in this video we are going to be discovering exactly why France refusing to even consider leaving and why they might truly never leave. But first please take a second to like and subscribe so more people can see this. Niger is the world's seventh largest producer of uranium and one of France's primary uranium suppliers. This contribution is significant since it accounts for more than 20% of the uranium required by France to fuel its enormous network of 56 nuclear reactors spread across 18 power plants. Orano, a famous French business, controls mining operations in three unique locations in Niger, the Ar mines, the Akokan mining site, and the Imuraran mine. Since the Hunter faction took power in Niger, there has been a considerable and noticeable increase in the price of uranium within the country. Uranium, which was once valued at about 80 cents per kilogram, now fetches an astonishing price of 200 euros per kilogram. This extraordinary price increase has caused a significant shift in the dynamics of the global uranium market with ramifications for the key players involved, particularly France. Canada, Another significant uranium supplier to France is currently selling uranium at a rate of 200 euros a kilogram, in line with the newly discovered pricing levels. In contrast, France continues to purchase uranium from Niger at a significantly discounted rate, paying only 80 cents per kilogram. This pricing gap has influenced France's uranium buying policy. To understand the magnitude of this economic dimension, consider that Oreno, the French company in charge of uranium mining operations in Niger, is estimated to earn a staggering annual revenue of approximately $54 billion solely from the exploitation of uranium resources in Niger. This significant cash windfall emphasizes the economic importance of Niger's uranium riches to France and its linked corporate companies. Orano's involvement in uranium mining in Niger dates back to 1971, when this crucial cooperation was formed. Orano strengthened its commitment to uranium extraction in Niger in May by negotiating new contracts with the Nigerian government, prolonging French uranium mining operations in the country until 2040. This long-term commitment demonstrates Niger's uranium resources' strategic importance to France's energy security. The year 2022 was a watershed moment in this partnership, with France acquiring 1,440 tons of uranium from Niger. Surprisingly, this amount represented 20.2% of the total 7,131 tons of uranium imported by France that year. These data highlight Niger's crucial role in meeting a significant amount of France's uranium requirements. Niger's importance extends beyond its bilateral relations with France, as it plays an important role in the greater European energy landscape. The commencement of the Russia-Ukraine conflict drastically altered the geopolitical scene in an era when European nations were traditionally relied on Russian natural gas. As a result of the disruption in Russian gas supply, European Union member states, notably France, have been forced to diversify their energy sources and explore alternatives. Uranium emerged as a possible substitute, and diversifying natural gas supply became a primary goal. In this perspective, Niger stands out as a reliable source of uranium, particularly for France. However, the rise of an anti-Western dictatorship in Niger has placed doubt on France and the EU's ability to secure low-cost uranium. The country's role as an economical uranium supplier persists, but the political context raises doubts about the country's ability to maintain this beneficial connection. France views its capacity to negotiate the problems provided by the Niger junta as superior to engaging in a confrontation with Russia, emphasizing its unwillingness to leave Niger. This story emphasizes the multidimensional nature of France's ambition to stay in Niger, which is motivated by economic, geopolitical, and strategic factors. 
The complexity of this position generates serious concerns for Niger's future, France's role in the area, and the global oil supply dynamics. Let us now look at the second reason for France's choice to remain in Niger. As previously stated, the European Union has faced energy issues as a result of Russia's inability to supply natural gas to EU member states, prompting the search for alternate energy sources. Concurrently, Nigeria has issued threats of military action in Niger in response to the recent shift in government. Allow me to introduce you to the Trans-Saharan Gas Pipeline, which you may not be aware of. The Trans-Saharan Gas Pipeline is a large-scale project that envisions a pipeline running through Niger's territory. The proposed pipeline's route would begin in Nigeria's Wari region and extend northward, passing via Niger on its way to Hasi Rumel in Algeria. The estimated course of the pipeline can be seen on the map given. This massive pipeline is anticipated to be 4,128 km long in total, with around 841 km crossing through Niger. It is worth noting that the Trans-Saharan Gas Pipeline concept was first proposed in the 1970s. However, the energy ministers of Algeria, Niger, and Nigeria did not resurrect this project until June 2022. The restart of this project was partly spurred by the European Union's increasing energy demands, as other energy sources, such as Russian natural gas, grew increasingly questionable. This huge project is expected to cost around $13 billion. The Trans-Saharan Gas Pipeline, once operational, is projected to ease the annual transfer of 30 billion cubic meters of natural gas to Europe. However, Niger's continued political turmoil poses a huge threat to one of Nigeria's most ambitious infrastructure projects. It also provides as a vital entry point for Nigeria into the European gas market. Nigeria, Africa's largest oil producer, has lately switched its emphasis to promote natural gas in the 2020s. This strategic shift, however, presents substantial obstacles in light of the July military coup in Niger. In response to the coup, ECOWAS, a regional coalition led by Nigeria, took a firm stance, threatening military involvement. Simultaneously, Nigeria is dealing with local infrastructure challenges, most notably the blocked AKK pipeline, which has put question on the sustainability of a big project intended to connect Africa's considerable gas reserves with European nations seeking alternatives to Russian energy supply. It is worth noting that Niger will get a sizable chunk of the $13 billion capital investment authorized for the Trans-Saharan Pipeline project. However, Niger now has a restricted daily oil production of 20,000 barrels per day, as well as a limited gas production. Despite these obstacles, Niger is about to inaugurate the Chinese-built Niger Benin oil pipeline, which has a capacity of 110,000 barrels per day. This highlights the complexities and concerns facing the enormous Trans-Saharan Pipeline project, which is taking place amid changing regional dynamics and infrastructure issues. The Trans-Saharan Pipeline project has the potential to monetize Niger's significant recoverable gas reserves, which are estimated to be in the range of 34 billion cubic meters. The project's future, however, is dependent on the current situation in Niger and the wider Nigerian region. Nigeria's oil production has declined significantly in recent years, and its export infrastructure issues have hampered its capacity to supply the expanding European demand for gas. Russia's military engagement in Ukraine has aggravated the issue. These issues highlight the importance of France's reluctance to leave Niger. Their strategic aim is to prevent any departure from Niger, and this story contains additional layers of complexity that we will explore in following conversations. If you enjoyed this video please leave a like and a sub and we'll see you in the next one.